guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for The Shade of the Changing Girl, issue one. And uh, before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Um, this week is New York Comic Con, so I most likely definitely won't have a Comic You Know episode this week. The reviews you see today will be the only reviews for the week. So look forward to those. Um, hopefully you enjoy them. Uh, and today I am reviewing The Shade of the Changing Girl, issue one, which is a new book from DC Comics, The Young Animal Run. So I was interested in this because as you guys know, I love high school stories and this has to do with a teenage girl. So uh, the, the book has to do with this girl, Megan, who seemed like a popular girl and she ends up having a drug overdose and is in the hospital for months, uh, it looks like five months, and the parents are ready to pull the plug and this, this, this um, creature from the meta planet has entered her body, overtakes her body, and wants to live her life right now and possess this girl. So this, you know, the, the meta planet alien has to learn about Megan and kind of really intertwine with her. And that's the whole issue. You kind of figure out who Megan is a little bit and you figure out who, I want to say her name is Luma, um, is a bitch. So these two characters are in one. What do I think of the issue overall? I want to talk about the artwork, which just like Doom Patrol is very simple. Uh, you know, of course you have kind of like the artsy type thing going on. You have a lot of colors. Uh, in certain scenes, actually I wanted more colors. I would say uh, for a book that's kind of out there, I wanted more exciting colors. But you, you do see them in a few scenes. Um, but yeah, the art was a lot a lot simpler than I thought it would be, but again, Doom Patrol kind of went the same route where the art, the, the story is kind of off the walls, but the artwork is very simplistic, and uh, I can't decide if that works yet, but we'll have to see as issues go on if the simplistic artwork works with this poetic, off-the-wall, meta-type storyline. Uh, and then the story, what I think, um, I'm personally not too into poetry in, in comics. Um, I always like philosophy. That's something I've always enjoyed uh, in comics and like thinking about stuff. But poetry is not really my thing. So this issue is very poetic. Uh, it's written in, um, you know, a poetic language. And if you like that, I think you'll really like this book. It's very Grant Morrison in a lot of ways. It's off the walls. You, I'm sure you have to read it a couple of times to really get the full scope of the story. But for me, I, you know, I like character-driven stories a bit more, and this wasn't as character-driven, because it is poetic, and this this main character is so off the wall. I'm going to keep using that word, because that's the only way to kind of state what this character is. Uh, she She's taking over this body because it's like a profession uh, to do so, but she's not really like fully known how to take over this body. Uh, I guess the best parts of this issue for me was learning about our main character, Megan, you know, learning about her passing and that she wasn't the greatest kid uh, and not a lot of people liked her and it doesn't even seem like her parents want her to be alive. So it's interesting to learn about that, but there wasn't enough contrast in a lot of ways. I think it focused way too much on this off-the-wall uh, character, Luma, who's, I guess, our main character, our narrator, but it was really hard to connect because of that. I wanted to connect with the grounded element, which is this girl, Megan, whose body's taken over. I think this issue would have done a lot better if it was Megan and Luma fighting for consciousness. So hearing Megan's voice at the same time as Luma's voice would have helped this issue a lot more to connect to it, but because we only hear Luma's voice, it's it's really difficult to get through, honestly. Um, so for me, I might give the issue uh, a try for the second issue. I'll probably read it digitally, but it was hard for me to get into, into the book. So I gave it two stars. But I do feel that people will enjoy this book if you like kind of the psychedelic type storytelling. But let me know in the comments below what you thought. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.